Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you some of the things that you can do with your leftovers. At least one thing that we like to do with our leftovers and we always buy extra of a couple of things so that we will have this on hand and I can make stuff with the leftovers. So let's get started. For this you're going to need the King's Hawaiian Rolls or the little slatter rolls. They don't have to be the sweet ones but we like the sweet ones. You're going to need turkey. You got some turkey left over or ham. Any kind of meat. It can be ham, it can be pork, it can be anything. You're going to need a stick of butter. Yeah, I didn't say I was going to be healthy. And you're going to need some Philadelphia cream cheese and some regular sharp cheddar cheese. Now, like I said, I didn't say this was going to be a healthy meal, but it is delicious. It's something to have. Um, these are really good for Super Bowl and you can use any kind of meat, ham, turkey, ground meat, whatever you have on hand, whatever you like. So these are really, really good but I think you could probably figure out how to make it a little bit healthier by using the lower calorie sliders, the turkey, low fat butter, fat free cream cheese, and fat free cheddar cheese. So you could make it a little bit healthier, but um, you know, moderation is always the key to everything that you do. So, so before I do anything, I'm going to preheat my oven to 350. And I'm going to melt half a stick of this butter in the microwave. Now that the butter is melted, I'm going to take these rolls, and they're very fresh, but I'm going to take them off of the thing here, the case. So they're going to go in a pan. Okay, so it's going to look like this. And I'm going to cut them right down the middle. And you need a sharp knife for this, so. So now I've got the rolls cut in half. Looks like this. It was a little fresh, but got it done. Now I'm going to cut this and put it in little pats all over the cream cheese. I mean, I'll put it in little pats all over the bottom of the rolls there. This is the Philadelphia cream cheese. Now this step is what actually makes these sliders taste so good. I don't know that I'm gonna use the whole thing, but I don't mind. You could also use the Laughing Cow wedges, which are really good. Just think it would take a little while to peel all of that laughing cow. I'm just cutting these in very thin wedges and then peeling it off my knife and putting it on there. It does look like I'm going to end up using the whole brick of cream cheese. Now I'm going to take the other half of the stick of butter. Oh yeah, you see where this is going, right? I'm just going to kind of 
throw it on there so that the bottom gets some butter. And this is something that my family requests every year. So it is delicious. Now I'm going to use this hat whole half a stick of butter so that you can see how delicious this is going to be. But you can cut it down and not use cream cheese or not use as much butter. It, the fun of this is that you can do whatever you want to it and it's still going to be good. All right, now I'm going to take my turkey. And I have a lot of turkey, so I take some of it. And I'm going to do the dark and the light meat and just sprinkle it on there. My husband's so kind that he chops it up. Before we even eat it. And that way we can just use it for whatever we like. And I'm going to put a generous amount of turkey on here. I think you're probably getting the gist of what this is going to taste like. And there's only a couple more steps. Put the turkey there. The cheddar cheese. Be generous with it. So you know what the original is going to be like. All right, then I start placing the rolls back on the top like so. So now it just looks like this. Now I'm going to take that butter that I melted. Put this over here. Take the butter that I melted and I'm going to brush the top of the rolls so that they get a little bit crunchy. A little bit crisp. This is really good just as a weeknight dinner because you can throw anything on there that you want. You can make little hamburger sliders if you like. Little chicken sliders. Even eggs and bacon. I mean, imagination go crazy. Just putting all that butter on there, making sure it's really generous. That's gonna be the key is all the good fat. All right. This is what it looks like, and now I'm going to bake it in the oven until the tops are brown and the cheese is melted and then we'll come back and see what it looks like. So while those are cooking, I am going to show you how to get rid of the leftover mashed potatoes easily and make them really yummy for a second dish. So first I'm going to add the mashed potatoes to my bowl. Let's check it out. I'm 
need a binder. So here's your binder. I'm going to chop up some green onions. Give it a really good flavor. And the secret ingredient, some ricotta. Preheat the pan. This is going to give it kind of a creamy, and I would say two big giant tablespoons full of ricotta to two cups of potatoes. Start this so that all of those good ingredients get mixed together. Now she did make her mashed potatoes with cream cheese, so there's already cream cheese in it. I just thought the ricotta would give it kind of a really yummy flavor. And because you're putting the ricotta in it and the green onions, you could actually add like a marinara sauce on top of it whenever you're done. All right. So it's gonna look like that. It's very easy to stir. Very fluffy and light. I'm going to come with me. I'm going to Spray my pan. It's been warming up with some Pam, butter flavored Pam. And I'm going to put my potatoes down there in blobs. them down a little bit so that they cook evenly and they look more like cakes and we're just going to brown them I under I overestimated the um, room I had in my pan. That's okay. Everything's going to cook beautifully. Turn my heat just a tad. I'm going to put some Pam on top so that can be soaking and I won't have to put it on there later. So, we'll let these cook and we'll be back. Okay, so this batch, I had to do a little finagling to get it to work because it was a little too creamy. So, I added some oil to fry it, turned up the heat, and then on top, I added some panko crumbs. So, to my other batch, I'm going to add the panko crumbs and an extra egg to really get it to bind and kind of dry it out a little bit. These were just a little too wet, so they didn't really set like I wanted them to, but that was the only problem. They just needed some extra stuff in it to make it more mashed dry. So, panko crumbs are in here, an extra egg, and these should fry up beautifully like I wanted the first batch too, so we shall see. As far as how many panko crumbs I put, I just added them to the top of these so that they would fry up really pretty and bind together so, and 
in the bowl. Just added some until they kind of looked a little more dry. But yeah, these are frying up, but they're too wet to bind. So, they're gonna taste good, but they're gonna be a little bit mushy. But I'm not even mad about it. Are you mad about it? <laughs> All right. While those are frying, these sliders are done. Yum. I'm gonna let those rest on the stove for a few minutes. And get a plate to plate up Get a plate to plate up my mashed potatoes. Okay, these look like they're going to stick a lot better. I haven't had any problems. So the panko crumbs, the extra egg, definitely a binder. And my sliders look really good. My first batch, real life. My first batch. Yeah, didn't turn out quite like I wanted, but the first batch of potatoes did not turn out exactly like I wanted them to, but real life, when you're experimenting in the kitchen, that's the way it goes. The second set of potatoes will do much better, but the flavor, let's see what the flavor of the first one tastes like, because I bet, They're delicious. They're creamy with a little crunchy from the panko. I like that. So, add that with your sliders, which are going to be delicious. Once I plate those up, you'll be able to see that I'm letting it cool and kind of rest. So I make sure the cream cheese is really, really cooked in there and hot. So I'm just gonna let those sit for a little bit and I'm frying up these, the second batch here. So, should be good. All right, so moment of truth with the sliders. Yum, uh-oh. Yum. That look good. Lost the bottom to that one. That looks so delicious. And the roll is hard on top and kind of crunchy on bottom. So my potatoes were a little bit more of a disaster. I think I would have added more egg and more panko crumbs to really set it in there and fried it on a high heat with some oil, but I wanted to see if I could do it with a little bit less fat since the sliders have so much fat, but apparently you can't or I couldn't. Real life situation, my potato pancakes didn't turn out the way that I wanted, but I'm gonna keep working on that and see what I come up with. Um, I tried it yesterday in the waffle iron, same thing. So I think I'm just not adding enough binder to it. I'm gonna research that. But hopefully you like this real life cook with the leftovers because these potatoes are still gonna be yummy and crispy on the outside and delicious on the inside. They've got the green onions and the ricotta and I think that they'll really taste flavorful and yummy and delicious. So even if they're kind of a hot mess, they're gonna taste good. My favorite thing 
in the world is french fries so it's got that little bit of a crunchy french fry flavor but a mushy middle like a mashed potato and then you got that cheese now i think if i used a different cheese not a the ricotta is kind of a wet cheese so i think that kind of contributed it contributed contributed i think that that added i think that that added to the fact that it wasn't binding the way that i wanted but it's still going to taste good and that's going to take care of a lot of my leftovers i hope that it gives you some great ideas and let me know below what is your favorite thing to do with leftovers for thanksgiving because you know i'm always looking for different things to do so give me some ideas hit me up and i hope that you will subscribe and stay tuned to this purple haired old lady because i've got lots more in me to give you and here's how everything turned out Yum.